Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Red Cheating Stories. My name is Shada Abbasi and today I'm going to share the story of a person whose name is Leon. He was 29 years old and he got married at 25. But before moving towards his story, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel and press the bake for the latest updates. Leon says that I was happily married for four long years. My wife is so beautiful. Her name is Channing. She's a teacher profession and loves to teach children. But for four years, we do not have any children and we are very upset about it. We had to consult a gynecologist for ourselves when she checked us both and all the tests were done. Then she said that there is nothing wrong with both of you. Maybe this is not the right time for you to have a baby. So you have to wait because it's all natural. We are very happy together. Our life is perfect. We both earn, we both spend in the house and we have our own little flat and we own a little car too. Everything is just fine until the day I met a strange man. I was in an office and he was there too. He was strangely staring at me all the time. Everyone in my office, all the colleagues noticed that this man is staring at me. Do you know him? I said no, I do not know him. I saw him for the first time in my life. I do not know who is he but he is behaving so strangely. He didn't talk to me. I came back home and talked to my wife about it. She was also shocked and said, maybe he's not looking at you, just forget about it. I have made your favorite dinner. My wife is so good as a person, as a wife, as a teacher. She's an example for all women. But one week later, I got a text and that text was saying that my wife is having an affair with someone. You know that person who is texting me. He was saying that my wife is having an affair with him. I was shocked. I do not know this number. It was not safe in my contact list. And I was shocked that who is this dumb guy who is randomly texting me and saying that my wife is having an affair with him. In the first thing I thought in my mind that maybe it was a wrong number. So I did not pay any attention on this text but the very next moment he texted me again and he called my name and said, Leon, I'm not joking. Your wife, Jenny is having an affair with me. Now, this time I was taking him seriously because he knew my name as well as my wife's name. You. This was strange. I was just so shocked. I text him back. Who are you? He said I will meet you in a few days. But first I want to tell you that your wife is not what she looks like. She's a wicked person. She had lied to me that she was not married. But when I found out I broke up with her and now I have to tell you that your wife is having a dark affair with me. We share a bed like 100 times. She was in my arms naked. We were together and she had told me so many times that she is in love with me and I'm the best man in the world and she he always wants to be with me. This man is talking rubbish. I'm in so much anger and I said that you are lying and the girl you are talking about is not my wife. So shut the fuck up and don't text me again. Of course, I believe in my wife. She's my wife. I know her for four years. And how can I believe on a stranger? Of course, I was on my wife's side but I didn't talk about it with my wife because I do not want to give her attention. This man must be mad or something and maybe he want to get us separated because when we are married, no one is happy because of my marriage. My, my mom did not like my wife and I have to leave my mom for my wife because my mom had another brother and she's not alone, but my wife is my responsibility. And of course I can't live without her because I love her. She also got a family, but her family is not a fan of her either. She sacrificed everything for me. And so do I, like I said before, we are having a good life and this man is not going to ruin it that easy. I will not let that happen. But I was wondering who is doing all this. But again, I didn't get any message from this number. I didn't even think about it. But this thing must have been preserved in my mind that is in my subconscious. This matter was saved somewhere inside my brain, but I considered it useless and removed it from my heart temporarily. But one day something very strange happened, my wife was talking to someone on the phone. But as soon as she saw me, she hung up and I heard her say that I should not know this. 
What was the matter that she was hiding from me in the last four years? Nothing like this happened. I trust my wife very much. And I asked my wife again and again, who was you talking about? And who was he? She said that I was not talking to anyone. She said you must have misunderstood. There is nothing like that, but I forgot about that too. But a few days later, I again found my wife talking to someone and this time she hung up as soon as she saw me. I don't know why it happened twice and I felt like this. There must be something wrong. But still I was on the positive side and was thinking that maybe it was just a routine. My wife doesn't want to tell me something and it belonged to her family or maybe some close friend because it is not necessary that she would tell me everything. A person should have her privacy. Also, if we are married, then it is not necessary that she would tell me everything and not have any privacy of her own. But one day when I was in a very good mood and I asked Jenny, I want you near my heart. Please come to me. She strangely looked at me and said, Honey, I am not in the mood right now. So please. I said what? But we were busy throughout the weekend and I thought that maybe you asked me first about it. Come on, don't spoil the moment. It's our weekend tonight. I want you in the bed. She said, No, I am not the mood and the conversation is over about it. She said it in a so rude way and I was shocked. I said, Okay, if you want that, then I will not talk to you either. She said, Okay, that's not a big deal for me. This was my wife with whom if I got angry, she would immediately get sad and try to make it up to me. She would not even eat food. But now she had no problem with it. She came and slept in her place and after a while I felt that maybe I spoke too much. I placed my hand on her shoulder and kissed her on the top of her head and said, What's wrong here? Yes, you are in a bad mood. Okay, if you don't want to make love with me, don't do it. But tell me why are you in such a bad mood today? She said I am not in a bad mood, just leave me alone. I'm sleepy. We work all week. Your job is easy, but I have to work hard with the children. They don't understand a single thing. I'm very tired. I was surprised at how she was avoiding me one day when a person's mood is bad. That's what they do. But my wife was running away from me like every time she used to go somewhere suddenly and when I wanted to ask where she went. She would not allow. I did not want to think like that at all. But now I was forced to think that really my wife is having an affair with someone and now she wants to get away from me. That's why she's behaving like this. I was looking at that man's messages and was thinking to message him and asked him to tell me everything. All of a sudden I received a call from him when I heard the call, he again said, I told you everything. Still you are living with your wife. What kind of a person you are. You don't think that she's sleeping in someone else's arms and now you keep her with you. I was still angry at his word. I said, I am not sure about what you said. Okay, then you ask your wife, if she agrees, then I will understand that there is something good inside her. It's very honorable. But if she doesn't agree, then I will show you everything with proof and I will meet you soon. But first try your wife, who you trust so much that you don't even listen to me. Well, I have told you everything. I was only talking about my wife. I also thought that I should talk to my wife one day I told her that I have to talk to you very urgently. And I didn't tell her that someone called me and told me I said that it has to come to know that maybe you are seeing some. She said, I don't understand what I said, that I have got the news that you are having an affair with someone. She was shocked and looking at me in a strange way, like I'm talking about another world. She said, what's happened? What kind of a joke are you talking about? Who told you this? It is nothing like that. I'm not talking to anyone. And if you're joking, then it is not a good joke. My wife said that if someone said this to you, then you should not have said this to me. You don't believe me. How can I do this? I love you more than anything. We have been together for four fucking years. Have you seen any such thing about me in the last four years? That now suddenly you started asking me like such bullshit questions after listening to someone else who is? Who said that? Tell me everything I said, 
I can't tell you but you have to convince me that there is nothing like that. She said, how can I convince you? There is nothing like that when you don't believe me, then can I have convinced you? But I am saying for the last time that there is nothing like that. Now, if you want to trust me, then it's good. If you don't, then don't do it. My wife was crying, her eyes were also angry. She said that I did not expect you to talk to me like this one day. What happened is what I was afraid of. My wife became angry with me now. So she was not even talking to me and did even tell someone on the phone that this has happened to me. But when I asked her with whom you were talking personally, she said, why should I tell you don't trust me anyway? So what will I do after telling? I was very angry. If he's telling the lie, then my wife's relationship is deteriorating. I wanted to see what proof he had either. He was lying on. My wife was lying but no one tells such lies. He must have some proof. I mean who randomly call someone and say that your wife is having an affair with me. And when you don't even know his wife, there must be something. And now I had decided that I want to meet him along with my wife. I called this man and that on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, you should come to my house with all your proofs. He said, okay, I will come. I told my wife that the person who told me all this is coming on Sunday morning with the proof. When the man came, I was surprised to see him. He looked very handsome and rich. When he saw my wife, his face was angry, but my wife didn't seem to be upset as soon as he came. He said to my wife, you are so shameless today. Your big secret will come in front of your husband and still you are sitting so comfortably. I asked her to hold his tongue and speak first. Show me the proof because this is my wife. He started laughing at this and said, what, what good person you have cheated on. But he's still talking aside. My wife said, I don't even know you. I have seen you for the first time in my life. He said, don't lie. You saw me for the first time. And he started arguing with my wife. I said, stop arguing and show me the evidence. We all three sat in the lounge and after that, he placed the evidence on the table. I was surprised there were some pictures in which the two of them were together looking very happy with each other. Selfies were taken. They were sitting somewhere eating and there was a picture, you know, in which they were both taking a bath. I was very angry and sad too while my wife was still looking at me in surprise. I said, but is this there is no regret in your eyes? She said, because he is also the biggest fool in this world. And so are you the man said, is your name not Jenny? Are you not in these pictures? Then my wife said, yes, my name is Jenny. And this is my husband, but the one in these pictures is not me. We were both shocked and my wife said that this is my twin sister whom my family don't talk about because she has left the home quite a long time. Now, she forms relationships with people and then she dumps them. You know, this is how she does each and everything. Now, this was a big, big news for me. We were both shocked and my wife. She told me that this sister is just a slack. She called her right away when she called her, her sister just you know, picked up the phone and she said, yeah, I lied, sorry, goodbye, forgive me. She, she seemed so busy like if she was with someone else. Like right now, you know, the man was also shocked and so was I I told him to get out of my house right now because of you. My life was going to be ruined and apologize to my wife. My father said that I did not expect this from you at all. Then I told my wife that why you were running away from me. And where were you going? Suddenly when I wanted to ask you, you didn't tell me, tears came to my wife's eyes. She said that there was a reason for that too. I said, what was the reason? And my wife said that I am pregnant, but the doctor said that it is very early you know for now to tell you I should not go to my husband for two weeks. Don't make love or else the baby might be in danger. And after two weeks, it will be confirmed that I am pregnant. And I wanted to tell you because if anything happened to the baby before then you would have been sad too. I was going to the doctor again and again and the person I was talking to over the phone was also my doctor. 
I have to go to the doctor today and she will tell me if our baby is okay or not. Tears came to my eyes. It was so big news because we did not have a baby for four years. I apologized to my wife and she said to me that we are going to the doctor. Now we went to the doctor and the doctor gave us the good news. He said your wife and your child are fine. Both of us are very happy and I was also very worried if I had doubted my wife today. My life would have been ruined. But my wife was a good person who forgive me. And now we are very happy because we are having a baby soon in this world. It is also happening in life. Sometimes life is very strange. But in the